All right, guys, here we go. We're about to jump into our week two battle for the UPA. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up a win this time. I'm about to click challenge. Going to be uh, playing against Nick and the Why Not Why Nots. We know his team. We know he's got the Mega Glalie, which is uh, an issue. He has the Pangoro. I'm dreading the Pangoro right now, guys. You have no idea. Here we go. This is going to be it. We're playing in Ubers. All right, so he brings a lot of the things that I said he was going to bring. So he brought the Scizor over the Skarmory, he brought, he brought the Alakazam, brings the Tentacruel, the Stunfisk, and finally the uh, the Glalie. Uh, in two tabs right now. Okay, well. Uh, Alright, so our game plan here is going to be, I think, lead with Stoutland, honestly. Seeing as he doesn't have the Skarmory that can eat up hits, I think that might be our play. Just get an Intimidate off on something and then hit it super hard, like... Yeah, I think that's our play, honestly. So... Yeah, let's go in, Let's go Stoutland as he leads with the Glalie. We get off the Intimidate, that's great. We could fire off a Fire Fang. I'm tempted to just hit a Super Power right now. Um... Let's see, we are faster, of course, because we are Scarfed. And you know what? I'm just going to go for damage on something, and I'm just going to hit superpower and see how much it does to something. And we will start our timer right here. And we are ready to go, guys. Whew! This is, uh, this is a bit stressful. Uh, let's see. So, he could be running the Shed Shell. He brings in Stunfisk on my superpower. As that does only 28, which means he's gets the static, unfortunately, which is very, very unfortunate. But I can bring in my Seismitoad on this thing, no problem. We are Rindo in case he's packing the Hidden Power Ground. And he actually does not have a Ground Resist on his entire team. So I could actually just fire off an Earthquake right here. As he switches into his Tentacruel, that's going to take a massive amount of damage right there. We're going to get that off. And then uh, I think we might just go for the Stealth Rocks here, honestly. Um, let's see. What could he be packing? I guess he could be packing Hidden Power Ground. Uh, hidden Power Grass, excuse me. Um, you know what? I really want to get up these rocks, though. Should I just save this and go into Latias and Defog? I think that might be my play. Let's see. I don't want to take damage with Latias, though, because then it might be harder to take a uh, Pangoro's knockoff, so... I think I'm just going to go for another Earthquake here. He goes for knockoff, gets rid of our Rindo Berry. We're going to eliminate the Tentacruel early, which is great. That's amazing for Entei. Yo, Entei can put in so much work now. He brings in the Glalie. He obviously has the freeze dry. We can play around that. Uh, I'm just gonna go into. Actually, I need to run a calc with Stoutland really quickly. Where's my calc for everything? Stoutland. I have like four calcs open right now. Micah versus Glalie. Mega Glalie. Are you wall breaker? Let's say a double edge. That's after the intimidate, so that still does a ton. Um, I guess our play is into. Oh, it's got to be into into Stoutland though, especially now that it's paralyzed. Yeah, I'm just gonna lower this thing's attack. He's probably he's more than likely just gonna freeze dry here, so we'll see how much it does. Um, he goes for the earthquake though, so that's good. We're able to take that, and now I can actually get off a of fire fang if I choose to, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If he explodes, then he gets rid of his his Glalie. We can potentially take the double edge right here. It does a max of 64, so it really depends on how much attack investment he actually has. He goes out into his Stunfisk, we get fully paralyzed, which is actually a good thing for us, because now we can fire off a return on this thing. Goes for the Earth Power, he's gonna get it off. We're gonna get a huge return off right here, it's gonna do 34%, and we're weakening his Stunfisk, which is another thing that's a problem for Entei. Now what I wanna do is just go back into my... into my Seismitoad, I think. Take whatever hit he wants to go for right here. As he goes for another Earth Power, he gets a crit on that turn, doesn't really matter, but he does get the Spadef drop. So he's going to be able to kill us on the following turn. That's huge. Um, let's see, what can I go into here? I'm actually going to go into my Latios, and I'm just going to defog these rocks away because they're getting really annoying. I don't know what set he is. You know what, let me calc that damage. 39.5 crit on our Seismitoad. Seismitoad... Uh, let's see. Our Johnson versus his Stun Fisk. PU support. Uh, Earth Power would normally do that. Yeah, so he's running no special attack investment, which is good. I'm just gonna go for the Defog right here. 
As he stays in, let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Thunder Wave, so he paralyzes us. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for a Wish right here. See what he wants to do. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Going to just fire off that Wish. And now if he doesn't get a crit, we're going to be able to get our Seismitoad all the way back up. So he goes into Pangoro here. He did paralyze our um, our Latias, unfortunately. And Pangoro is going to be able to hit us really hard. So I think I'm just going to sack off my Stoutland right here to get a free switch into our, uh, our Slowbro right now. Going to see how that works out. He goes for the Drain Punch. Let's see. He's Life Orb. Okay, good. That's great to know. So he's not Scarfed. Alright, so Pangoro. Pangoro. Let's say it's All Out Attacker Adamant with a Life Orb instead of a Choice Band. Life Orb versus... I just want to see this thing against our... Let's see. Uh, against... Uh, Entei. Let's go into Entei. Let's do Choice... Oh, no, wait. Hold on. We have the set. We have the set. Entei... Geo, how much do you do with a Sacred Fire? You do 61 to 71. That's not good enough. We need more damage. He could be rocking the knockoff. Does he get anything else? Let's actually check really quickly. I need to see if Pangoro gets anything else in terms of dark type moves that's not knockoff. That can actually hit our... Uh, he gets Crunch. Okay, so that he could be packing Crunch for the Slowbro. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I think my play... He's got lowered attack, and he's not banded, which means he probably won't be able to take out our uh, Seismitoad, but I don't really want to go into that right now. I'm just going to go into Slowbro, and I'm going to Mega Evolve and fire off a Scald at this point, because if I can get a burn off on something, that's amazing. If he has the Crunch, he has the Crunch. I can't really do anything about that. He goes for a Parting Shot, he lowers our special attack and our attack. And he's going to go into Scizor, and I'm going to get off a Scald here, hopefully burn, as we do not, unfortunately. But now, uh, I guess he would expect the Magnezone to come in here. I'm going to slack off and see what he does. He goes for a U-turn. That doesn't look like banded damage. I can calc it really quickly for you guys. Slow, bro. Uh, our... Where is our set? Drasil. Uh, we should have put this thing Mega. Hold on. Scizor. Let's see without the Mega Evolution, if he's banded. Choice Bandit. I think I know the calc already, but uh, U-turn does... Yeah, so that's definitely not Bandit. He's going to go out into his Glalie right here. Now, I fully expect him to have the Freeze Dry, but at this point, I think we're down to a point where we can't really do anything about it. So, I'm just gonna go... His Stunfisk is weakened right now, and I know for a fact that Hidden Power Fire does about 22%. So what I can do is... I know he has the Earthquake, but I very much doubt that he would go for it right here. So I'm gonna go out into my Magnezone. I'm gonna see if we can catch this. As he goes for the Freeze Dry, awesome, okay. So we get that, he does not freeze us. And now we can go for a Flash Cannon right here. As he goes for Earthquake, we are Shooka, we are gonna be able to live, oh no, we're not. Why didn't I calc that? No, hold on, clearly Mega. Why was that able to kill me? Hold on a second, Magnezone. Choice specs, well, how much does Earthquake normally do? Earthquake, that's huge, man. We just lost a huge Pokemon on our team. Why did I do that? What is this thing running? Adamant, give me a Shooka Berry. That shouldn't have been able to kill me. Was that a max roll? No, not even. What the heck? Oh wait, but this is running HP. I don't think we are. No, we're not, damn, okay. Well, uh, I have to go into our Entei right here. I have to eliminate this thing, because this thing is the only thing standing in my way. So I have to go into Entei, and I have to fire off a Sacred Fire right here. I don't have a choice. I have to go for it. I have to knock this thing out. If he goes into Stun Fisk after, I can defog the rocks away with Latias, so it's not a problem. We should still be able to win this with Entei. He goes into his Stun Fisk. He's going to sack it off. That's fine. Actually, we do not kill. But I am just going to... I'm actually just going to switch into my Latias directly. Because he's not going to switch here. He's going to want to sack this thing off. He's going to go for the Thunder Wave. And I'm going to go for the... Uh, the Defog right here. And then I'm going to switch back into my Entei most likely. We'll see what he wants to do. If he goes... If he switches into Pangora, it could be a problem. But we already know that thing is Life Orb. 
So, the Thunder Wave on Stunfisk is pretty big, man. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks, but he is faster than us, so... That's not gonna do anything, and he's not packing the, uh... He's not packing... The Toxic. Alright, so... We should be good here. To get this off. He goes for Thunderbolt, that's not gonna do anything. We're gonna get the Defog off. And I wanna see how much Stunfisk's Thunderbolt... Does to our Slowbro. We are a standard Slowbro set, so I can pretty much calc this with Mega Slowbro's defense. Let's see. Discharge would normally do that much. I need to check for Thunderbolt. Where's Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt would do only a little bit more, so if we can get up a Calm Mind on that thing, it should be faster than us, though. That's the problem. Alright, let's see. Um, we already know that his Pangoro can't hurt our Slowbro. I think we win this with, Slow with Slowbro, honestly. I'm going to go directly into Entei here on what I'm assuming is going to be, yeah, more Stealth Rocks. There we go. And we will just fire off, uh, honestly, another Sacred Fire right here. We have no, no reason not to. So we're going to get rid of that thing. And his Pangoro can come... Actually, what does he have for this now? Because we still have the Shooka Berry. I need to calc this with Glalie's attack. Hold on. Glalie, Wall Breaker, give it Adamant. So it's 372 against our Entei. Uh, Geo. Geo can... Hold on, give it Earthquake. I'm running out of time here. Earthquake, 35 to 39, so it's not going to do much. He brings out his Zam, though, and that thing's a problem. Um, I need to revenge this later. So I think I need to give up my Seismitoad here. I need to keep this healthy, and I need to get rid of these rocks later, somehow. How do I get rid of, uh, rid of his rocks? Pretty much everything checks me now. Um... Hold on a second. How much does his Alakazam? First of all, before I do that, freeze dry from Adamant to our Slowbro. Mega Slowbro defensive. Freeze dry does 47 to 53. So if we get up a Calm Mind, we should be okay. We should be good to go. So I need to know how much his Alakazam does to Mega Alakazam. Let's say it's Life Orb with Psychic to our Entei. Why can't I type Entei right now? <laughs> Geo. Psychic does 76 max. So he would need a heck of a roll right here. So we're just going to go for the Sacred Fire. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. He's not going to be able to knock us out, obviously. We're going to go for the Sacred Fire. He is Sash, but he doesn't know that we are, we are not... Um, we are not the set that he thinks we are. So I'm going to go for the E-Speed right here. Going to be able to knock him out. I'm not going to keep this thing. We're going to be able to do damage to something here. And we calced Entei with his Glalie. We said it was Adamant. I need to do this again and again and again. Adamant against our... With an Earthquake against our Entei. Which is holding the Shooka Berry. Earthquake might not actually be able to take us out. Yeah, because we are Shooka. So if he's Adamant, he won't be able to take us out. Wait, he can't be running anything else, right? This does 39 max because of the Shooka Berry. So, let's go for the Sacred Fire right here. Goes for the Earthquake, he gets a crit! No! Come on, man! That's two times now that crits mess me up. Oh! Yes, it did. It did matter. Guys, I'm 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 all distraught right now because of this thing, like <sighs> He goes for a freeze dry right now if he's naive, let's see. Naive, freeze dry, to slow bro. Oh you defensive. Freeze dry does fifty-two to sixty-two, and then at plus one special defense. It still does thirty-five to forty-one, so I don't think we can win this. Uh how much does my skull do to him? Unboosted. Uh, it does 48 to 57. That's not bad. Hold on. Can we still win this? If I was still packing HP fire... I was initially packing HP fire on uh, on our Seismitoad. I think we might have been able to win with that, but... <sighs> Alright, well, what's the mineral? 35, and then if I'm not plus 1, then 
It's 52. 35 plus 52 is 87. So I think he still kills us. All right, we have to fire off the Scald here. He goes for the Freeze Dry. It's going to do 55 right there. Going to get off the Scald. We're not going to burn, unfortunately, and that's pretty much going to end the game right there because there's nothing we can do. Um, I think I have to sack Seismitoad and attempt to get a, a Wish off into... Well, no, that's not even going to do it, honestly. Uh, well, it was, uh, it was a well-played game. We tried. We never got off the Sunny Day, which was unfortunate. And, of course, he got the crit with the... With the Earthquake, we would have lived that and knocked out his Glalie and then still had a chance. Uh, I'm going to drop a GG for him because that's really unfortunate, but uh, we we lose that one and we lose it 3-0, which is bad for Differential. Sorry about that, guys. We got another loss, but that was not in my control. I can't control crits. Unfortunately, Showdown's been messing with me since yesterday. I was running a, a DDD Altaria team and I got... I missed literally every Hurricane and Magma, magma Storm for an hour and it was insane, so... Really disappointed that I couldn't bring you guys a win this week. Um, I know I'm better than this, and I know this was just purely luck, but... Oh well, so uh, thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, leave, a like, uh, leave a like down below, leave a comment. Let me know, again, if you want to see any wacky sets. And uh, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks again for watching. Ciao.